My name's Andy. I'm a paramedic with over 10 years of military trauma experience. This here is a forestry or a remote site trauma kit. Let's go through it. Open it up, we have uh, trauma bandages designed for military use, perfect for controlling bleeds and holding the extra pressure down. The emergency bandage is often referred to as the Israeli or the trauma bandage, designed for putting direct pressure onto the wound after you've put in any uh, C-lock scores or combine dressing. When you put it on, it's important to remember to remove all the clothes. So cut around the clothes, get it right off, and then apply the bandage. There's a dressing on the underside. Place that on nice and tightly. And we want to first anchor the bandage down by going above and below the torsion bar here. We go through the torsion bar, crank it nice and tight, and continue to wrap it up tightly and fully. And as you get to the end, there's a plastic bar here that will allow you to clip it onto the bandage anywhere you can find. And that will stay on the whole time, keeping a good eye on it to make sure it's not re-bleeding through the bandage. If it is, you need to try again. Two of those, also your standard 15 centimeter crate bandage as you get in a standard first aid kit. Here we've got a combat application tourniquet. Tourniquet for bleeds to the limbs. Put it on properly, should be able to stop bleeds using that. The combat tourniquet, designed by the military to stop extreme bleeds. Very effective, put it on a limb in conjunction or after other methods of controlling bleeding haven't worked. When you put it on and you open it out of its packet, we always say slow is smooth, smooth is fast, because there's a lot of intricate parts that can get tangled if you're not careful. Open it up, get the torsion bar ready so that you can tighten it, extend it out as much as you need to, and you'll usually find, especially with a real injury, that it's easiest if you completely undo it to put onto the casualty. With the limb, arm, or a leg, put it up high and put it on tight. When you put it on, try and remove any clothing. So even if you need to cut the pants up here so that you can put it directly onto skin, it saves that when you're moving the patient, the clothes don't move and loosen the tourniquet. When you put this on, wrap it right around through the buckle and pull it nice and tight before you Velcro it. As much Velcro as you can so it doesn't slip. The torsion bar needs to be tightened multiple times until bleeding stops. Usually that means, on a leg especially, grabbing it, pulling it, and tightening it. It's going to end up very tight and can be very painful, but is required to stop a bleed. Keep going, keep going, keep going until the bleed is completely stopped. To secure it, place it in to the holder there and secure it both using the strap through it and then the Velcro over the top. Good reminder here to write the time directly onto the tourniquet. Ensure that the tourniquet is not covered so they can see it when you evacuate. It's also added to a patient's notes when you write it down. If the tourniquet is not tight enough or is not working, expect to have to put another tourniquet on if you can, above the next and even a third. A lot of casualties come in with two or three tourniquets before they get into the emergency department. This can stay on for as long as you need to stop the bleed. The bleed is going to kill the person, not the tourniquet. Very important. If you're a long way away from help, you can use a satellite phone or anything to talk to an expert that can tell you about uh, reperfusing or getting blood back into that limb. But at the moment, the most important thing is to leave the tourniquet on, stop the bleed. Within here, we've got Sealox Rapid. Sealox Rapid is a clotting gauze put directly into a wound where the bleed is actually coming from an artery. Should be able to clot and stop the bleed much faster than anything else in a normal first aid kit. Here we have Sealox Rapid. It's a third generation clotting agent uh, designed for serious massive bleeds of major arteries. So it's not for your small little wounds. With this, basically it reacts with the red blood cells to create a clot, let the body do its own thing 
and clot the wound, stop the bleeding, save the life. The way that it works, got little tear tabs there. Um, they're very important so you can open it quickly. If your hands are already covered in blood, simple part of opening it can actually get pretty tricky. Inside is a Z-fold gauze. If you grab one end of it, should come out like so. This is what you put into the wound. With the wound, you're not just putting it on the surface, you need to get right into the wound where the bleed is actually coming from on the artery. That means getting your fingers into it, pushing onto it, and holding pressure on the artery inside the wound there. The more you need depends on how big the wound is. As you're pushing it in, you want to keep that pressure on the artery and keep pushing it in, keep pushing it in until either the wound is full and overflowing or you run out. If you run out, you want to completely pack that wound. So you can use a normal combine dressing as well, open that up, pack it on top, and then hold pressure. By the time you've filled up the wound, no matter how big it is, over the side of the bleed, you want to hold pressure on that. Should be able to get a clot forming and the bleeding stop within a couple of minutes using the Sealox Rapid. Usually would have used the whole packet, gone, keep the pressure on. To replace your hands, you can put an emergency bandage on and hold that pressure on. Everything stays in place until they're in hospital and the surgeon's going in to repair that artery. So don't go taking things out unless the bleeding control hasn't worked and the blood is still pouring out. Clearly you've got the wrong spot, pull it all out, try again and get that artery. Sealox Rapid is the most advanced modern clotting gauze on the market used by law enforcement and militaries all around the world. Gives your patient the best chance of survival and basically, especially if you're remote, every drop of blood that hits the ground cannot go back into the body and you need that to carry oxygen and keep the person alive. This will speed up the clotting process, stop a bleed and give your person a best chance of survival. Keeping your patient warm, we've got two thermal blankets very important, trauma patients that have lost a lot of blood will get cold. We need to keep them warm so their blood can still clot normally. Trauma shears are an important item so you can get to the wound. Get off the clothing, get into the wound and control that bleed. Same with getting to your casualty. Window breaker, seatbelt cutter. Here we've got tape to secure any dressings, gloves for self-protection, four combine dressings of different sizes. These can hold pressure onto a wound uh, in combination with the Sealox Rapid gauze. And we've got a bleeding control card that goes over the Sealox Rapid bandages and tourniquets.